Welcome. My name is uh, Emanuele Barbato, interventional cardiologist in Rome, Italy. And today we are discussing about refractory heart failure and how the interaction between drugs and device can help in this patient. We are discussing about this topic with Alexandre Mebaza, anesthesiologist from France. And the first question to Alexandre is, what is refractory heart failure in a nutshell, Alexandre? Yeah. Uh, refractory heart failure for years was really a horrible word because uh, we were receiving the patient and we were telling him that we try to push some drugs and we arrived to the limit because of safety concerns and, and then we were telling basically he or her that we are not going to do anything else. Today it's a totally different world. We have devices, we have EP, then refractory is in fact a sign that we should open our mind, open uh, several doors and try to have a transdisciplinary approach to improve patient's condition. So this practically means that when you have uh, achieved the max you could with medications, you should basically try to rediscuss again the clinical case with relevant specialists in order to extract the best they can. But what are practically the available options nowadays that we have at our disposal? Yes, exactly what you are describing. Uh, we try ARNI. We cannot go more than uh, one quarter. We try a beta blocker. It doesn't fit. And again, heart failure is cancer. We need to treat. Then we can call our EP friends to check together, is there an option for CRT? We can call interventional cardiologists, we can call even uh, nephrologists and try to work together to have a new options. And in many cases, we put, for instance, a CRT when it's indicated, and then it's incredible because then we have a new journey and then we could optimize the drugs and we can even go up to 100% of those drugs. I want to use exactly this nice word, the journey, the patient journey. It seems like really we are walking through different moments and evolution of the disease. And at key moment, we can really call in the relevant therapy and try to optimize at the max we can eventually the heart failure therapy. It's a circle. It's a circle that closes itself. Any other comment? Yeah, in fact, it's a circle because today, if the patient comes very early, and really we advise our colleagues to take the patient as early as possible when they, uh, they start to diagnose heart failure, and then we know that the four medications can be given at 100% and the patient will have a really a nice journey. However, after a few years, or so when we take the patient in an advanced heart failure situation, then we can face refractory heart failure, and then we need to be all together to help him. So if I may summarize, refractory heart failure is not the end of the story here. It's just a moment that has come to call in additional specialists who might help with their interventional therapies to get the patient back on track and allow heart failure specialists and, and clinicians uh, to optimize and further titrate the drug dosages that would eventually improve the clinical outcome of our patient.